Vince Russell from Get Good with Vince here with a Blender quick tip on creating bendy bones. Bendy bones are an easy way to replace long chains of many small rigid bones with one easy to control bone. They're great for rigging curved things like spines, eyebrows, and other curved things. Anyway, to begin, hit Shift A to create an armature with a single bone, then tab into edit mode, select the entire bone, go to armature subdivide, and then choose two for the number of cuts. Arrange the head and tail of the first and third bones so that the middle bone is larger. No need to be precise here. It doesn't matter as these will simply be control bones for the bendy bone in the middle. Now, go to the armature tab and change the display type to B bone. You'll notice that your once familiar looking bone is now rectangular. How does this help, you ask? This doesn't look very bendy. Hold on, just a few more steps to go. Select the bottom bone and name it start. Select the top bone and name it end. And then select the middle bone and name it bendy. You can pick other names for your rig. These names are just to help us understand the setup. Now for the fun part. Make sure the center bone is selected. Go to the Bone tab and open the Bendy Bone section and set your segments to something like maybe six. Now we're getting somewhere. You can see that our Bendy Bone looks like it's made up of six smaller bones. Tap into Pose Mode, grab the first bone and rotate it. See how the once single rigid bone now behaves like a chain of bones? But wait, it gets even better. Tab back into Edit Mode, select the top bone and hit Alt-P to clear it from its parent. We need to be able to move it freely for this to work, and we can't do that while it's a child of another bone. Then tab back into pose mode, select your top bone that you just disconnected, and hold shift and select your bendy bone. Then hit control shift and the letter C and add a stretch to constraint to the bendy bone. Now the bendy bone follows the end bone, awesome! But wait a minute, rotating the end bone does not affect the curve of the bendy bone. Easy to fix. Select the bendy bone, return to the bendy bone panel, Set the end handle to absolute, and for the custom associated field, choose your end bone. And like magic, you now have one easy to control bone that can form curved shapes. That's a Blender quick tip that I hope helps you in your journey to get good.